Alrighty, g'day trendsetters. I bought myself some mulch. 10 bales actually, sugarcane mulch. We here in Toowoomba, a couple of hundred kilometers inland and, and up on the uh, top of a range about seven, 650, 700 meters above sea level. But to our east or probably southeast from here, there's, uh, they grow sugarcane. There's a thin strip of the coast that gets lots of rain. Doesn't get up here, we're always dry. But they get plenty of rain down there, they can grow sugar cane. And there's a bloke here, a couple of local blokes, but the bloke I got it from, goes down to visit a, an uncle or a cousin or something down there and takes a, a ute in a trailer and comes back with a load of sugar cane mulch. And it looks a lot. And I was thinking, I was lying in bed the other night just after I'd ordered it and I thought, Geez, where am I going to put all this? But it probably won't go all that far. But all my perennial fruit and vegetables like the, the rhubarb, raspberries, asparagus, things like that, they'll all need a good mulch this time of year. All my citrus need mulching. Oh, well, I say all my citrus, I've got three citrus trees, but they'll need mulching. All my roses, I've got half a dozen roses throughout the place, they'll all need a good mulch. I'll just lay it on in biscuit form, which is when you unfold one of these bales, they, they come in like little biscuits and they're about two or three inches deep. So I'll just pack them all around the outside. And Bob's your uncle. I've also got some, a few bare areas of soil that I, I like to keep covered. I don't like to have the rain and the sun and everything beat down on it. It's, it destroys the soil structure. So if you can keep it covered with a good layer of mulch, that's always good. Another thing I wanted to mention with the, the sugarcane mulch is at this time of year, I have a lot of green material that I use for my compost, which is high in nitrogen, which and also means I don't have a lot of what they call brown. So there's a ratio of green and brown for your, for your compost. So, a couple of those bales will disappear into the compost bins along with all of this green material I have here. I grow this, this is just the salvia, but I grow it just for compost. It, uh, if, if we get a bit of rain in that, it does, it just grows like mad and you just got to keep chipping it away. Take a bucket full up every now and then, throw a, a biscuit of sugar cane mulch in with a couple of buckets of this and before you know it, you've got a, a bin full of compost working away for you, which I'll be using next year. So there's another use for sugar cane mulch as well. Along with the salvia here, I've also got canna lilies growing in a few places that uh, get a bit of extra water. I cut them down, same thing, add um, the, the sugar cane mulch to that. I've got a morea here which I cut down every year and feed through the mulcher. Um, again, add the sugar cane mulch to that. So I've got lots happening at the moment. I've got hedges over here that need to be hedged. So I'll just rake up all the, the clippings from that into the compost. So yeah, there's a lot of uses for 10 bales of sugar cane mulch at this time of the year. Busy, busy, busy. So I've probably got my work cut out for the rest of the day. $10 a bale, so this is going, this cost me $100 and $15 delivery, but I th think it's a good investment. It, it certainly won't hurt the soil. Um, any chance you get to mulch the soil is a, a, a good chance. And uh, I reckon that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. So I just wanted to share that with you. Bit of sugar cane mulch. If you ever get the chance to get your hands on some mulch, then, then by all means go for it. Another benefit of mulching this thickly uh, around perennial plants or trees and shrubs and stuff like that, besides retaining moisture and, and suppressing weed growth, it also, as it breaks down, will help to improve the structure of the soil and, and the water holding ability of the soil. So there's, there's multiple benefits to mulching and mulching thickly, especially during the summertime. These guys are going to love it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.
please like and subscribe. It always helps. It means a lot to me as well. And bye for now.